Yes, guys, it's Yanni and Jack Martin. Uh, you'll wonder why LP isn't leading the start of this video. It's because it's actually on holiday. So fair play, LP. Hope you're enjoying yourself. I don't really. Jack Martin has just turned 18. Big man now. Beard gang. Yeah? Gang. Yanni, how's the beard going? No, no, no. no. It's not as good as mine. Ooh. Right, here we go. So we're going to be playing Fremford FC. If you watched our last video, you'll know that we lost 3-2 in the FA Vars. Playing them again four days later. This is the BBC Essex Senior Cup. Second round, another cup. Let's go chat to some of the boys. It's game day. Come on. Yeah, hey, know. the Wolf of Wall Street. Something like that. <laughs> How much money you make today, Geese? People call me a uh, city boy nowadays. You know what I mean? Suit and tie, that's what I do, mate. Pot tap baller, full time city boy. Clean sheets? Always. Nothing less. Or nothing more. Dunno. Wait, Rick, take that. Just a quick one, someone's defaced the hashtag logo at the Tilbury ground with the uh, Sons of Avely on tour. That's not on. Josh, the streets are saying you're terrible at tech ball. Everyone's been saying he's terrible. Do that, yeah, yeah. 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 No time effects. Oh! So guys, you've seen already, we've uh, actually got a few funky shots right now. Josh right here is operating a drone for us. Josh, talk to me, what's going on? Right, so yeah, I've been doing drone videography for like a year now. Did um, you call it drone what? Videography. Drone videography? Yeah, yeah. Um, like got my license and yeah, came here today to give you guys a few shots. Decent, decent. And where can we find you? Uh, YouTube, uh, just Josh Nussel, N U W T A W L. This is mad. And you can actually see what's going yeah, on on the yeah. screen. Oh my. That's so hectic. You know I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> a drone? Do you know how expensive they are? Buy one then. Do I look like LP? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Right, so Stampy and Wes have decided they're going to try and race the drone. Oh damn. Right, here we go. <laughs> look at this dude that has literally bricking it. <laughs> right. Ready. Get set. Go. Oh, the scenes. Oh, the drones absolutely smoked them. Joshua Siddick couldn't even beat that thing. That is too fast. Quick one, if you guys are creators like Josh and you want to come down to a hashtag game, feel free. Welcome, as always, you'll be uh, able to come get in the video. Maybe a little shout out. Everybody extremely down about Saturday, disappointed. That can't continue, that's got to stop. The only person in here that should be sulking or be miserable is me, so leave it to me. If there's any pressure or disappointment, let me deal with it. You're too young, too much in front of you, you just be, should be just chomping at the bit for the next game. The fact that we play the same opposition tonight is irrelevant to me. Football isn't about revenge. If we're talking about revenge, then we're focusing on the wrong changing room. I want to focus on this changing room, us. And we go out there and we play the way we know we're capable. I want us to chase games at nil-nil. I want us to go and try and win games. We've kind of, we've been a little bit too tentative and too within ourselves. And then we take in adversity to to spring us into to action in his life, and I don't want that to happen. You just keep doing what you're doing. I've got no problem with people missing chances. Speak to him. Speak to him about it. Right? Your game is so much more than scoring goals. Our system is so much more than depending on one person up front to score all the goals. That's just, and the fact of the matter is, well, you've got six or seven in eight anyway, so you're scoring. Right? I don't want you to worry about any, what anyone thinks other than me, right? And for me, for me, you're delivering, right? I've got no problem with people miss. I will never, I will never go for people for, for, for making mistakes, missing chances. I won't go individuals, I don't. We do everything collectively, yeah? We succeed collectively, we don't succeed collectively. We go out tonight, we put on a performance, from the first minute to the last, I want to see a start with a tempo, that tempo's gotta be there. It's got to be there, all right? I need leaders, I want people to lead, 
by example, verbally. Defensively, we don't give up anything. We don't take any risks. Offensively, we're bright and we go and when opportunity arises, we take it. Yeah, make sure we buy as many tickets as we can. Let's go, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United game. You're joined tonight by, well, I'm joined tonight by Ricky Evans. Ricky's here today on his commentary debut, mate. You're not in the squad tonight. You're serving a short suspension. Uh, but you're back next week, right? That's very true. So delighted to be in here with you. Debut for you, mate. I'm excited to see what you've got. I know. It's taken a lot to get me up here, but it's here, so we're all good. Special treat. And today's a massive game, guys. Football's all about bouncing back. We got a very, very disappointing result last time out in the FA Vars to this lot, Frentford. Um, hopefully you can check those highlights out if you haven't already. A thriller. Not thrilling in the way we'd like it, but we need to bounce back. And after a result like that, Ricky, you want to get back on the pitch and put things right straight away. And what a nice way to do it against the very team that beat you. Yeah, I think there's no better opposition to do it today. In a cup game as well, I think it's the perfect opportunity to get something back on them and try and win the game comfortably. We need a performance tonight. We do. The boys need to send a message. I'm looking for a reaction out there. Let's see the teams tonight. Tonight's hashtag United team for you. We have Cav Clark in goal. We have a back four of Simon Petty, Faris Ngano, Luke Wilson and Jack Martin. In front of them, the holding midfielders, Sam Biles and Ross Gleed. Sam Biles making his competitive debut. Hashtag United tonight. And his fellow new signing in front of them, behind the forward, Jesse Waller Lassen, or as Spencer calls him, Jelly. Jesse Baller Lassen, I say. I seem to want to call him Jelly. I don't know why. Sorry about that, Jesse. Albert Keith on the left hand side. Sam Rage Gill on the right hand side with, yeah, George Smith up front. Subs bench tonight Lee Hersett, Harry Honesty, Joshua Sude, Kane Brogan, and Neil Richo Richmond. No Spencer for us tonight. He is over with some of the other guys at the FIFA 20 launch, uh, the night that this game is being played. So you've got myself. I get a bit of stick sometimes for getting a bit over-enthusiastic in the commentary. What can I say? I'm a passionate guy. I try and rein it in a bit, but tonight I'm going to be muted, I think, because tonight I don't just want a performance. I'm expecting a performance. Okay, final checks from the referee. We're about to get underway. We've got Jesse who's going to take the kick for us. Ross Gleed is the hashtag United captain this evening. It's time, the bounce back. Let's do this. Jesse back to his um, former Rebel teammate, Sam, as he lumps the ball forward early on and gets straight on the ball. I think that's going to be a pivotal thing for us tonight. It was one of the things that was picked out by Spencer and Jacko, Spencer and Jacko, I should say, in the game against Frentford was that the bright light was Jesse. He took a very, well, a very well taken goal in the dying embers of that game. Check it out if you haven't seen it before. Played out wide. Sam Rose Gill is going to try and win it for us. And I think he's going to get there first. He does. Looks to play back towards Simon Petty. But he's dispossessed by Wallace, the number 11. Looks to have a shot early. Brave. And not the worst effort, Rick. Good chance. The guy's worked hard on the left wing. Sam Rage obviously got the wrong side of the guy. And he's just got a quick shot in. But safe fans, Cavs still there. Yeah, we've seen Willow miss some penalties last year. We've seen Ross Gleed miss one. George Smith miss one on the weekend. We Right now, the penalty spot is up for claim, I think. Lovely one-two between Jesse and George Smith. Jesse trying to find an air and he's been brought down. Great interchange in between the two as they exchange pleasantries there. And it's a free kick one now in a very dangerous position for Hashtag United. Ross Gleed's looking to provide the alternative option with the left foot. But I think you're right, Rick. I think this is going to be Jesse all day. Yeah, I think with the ability he's got, I think he's going to be close. This could go in. Wow, let's see it. Come on, Jesse. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. There was a silence up here in the booth. I thought I was about to see the net ripple. From the angle we're at, it did not look far away, did it? That looked in the whole way. As you say, I was expecting the net to ripple, but unlucky. It's a great strike. But again, we're getting on top again. Hopefully we can push on there. Chance here as the boys go forward. Albert Keith out on the left-hand side. Looks to find some room. He's dispossessed well by the Frentford defender who looks to clear it. Only as far... As Sam here, Sam Biles finds some room. Will he have a shot? He has had a shot. Oh, he's a decent strike on it from Sam. I like to see he's confident enough to hit it from distance, Ricky. It's in the Ricky Evans playbook, a distance shot from that sort of range. <laughs> Same outcome, unfortunately, but he's a top, top player. He's been in here a couple of weeks now. Great feet, great energy. And as you can see from that, a great strike as well. Looks to unleash Sam Biles, but it really is just no one can get a grip on the football right now. Possession so changing end end. so much. And Frentford look to break. And the ball's crossed in and a great ball Wait. in. And Simon oh, Petty's not cleared it. Edge of the box. The number eight for Frentford gets a shot away. Oh, I thought it was about to nestle in. Cav Clark diving all the way. And it's going to be a goal kick. That was a let off. Big let off there. As you say, it's so end to end at the moment. One second we're in their box. And then the next minute they're having a shot at our goal. 
I think we just need to show a bit of composure at the moment, get our foothold in the game. When he missed that penalty, is one of the most surprising things I've ever seen in football. I mean, the way he strikes the ball, it's like the way Sergio Garcia strikes an iron. It's so crisp and pure, I, I couldn't believe it didn't go in. Yeah, unfortunately just missed the target there, but he'll bounce back he'll and bounce he's started back, well here. Sure. He has started very well as the ball comes in from Frentford. Can Cav Clark come and get it? He does. He's not done it enough though. Chance for Frentford. He's on the edge of the box, but thankfully the referee has done what I normally hate, which is OB maybe a little bit overprotective of goalkeepers, but I'm certainly not too concerned about this one because it, it stopped a very clear goal scoring chance for Frentford. Jack Martin loops it on but he's knocked it in towards the middle for Samways. He's going to recycle this out towards the right back. Puts the ball in for Frentford. Flicked on beautifully you've got to say and a real opportunity at the back post for I think Daly for Frentford. He's asked the question of Cav Clark. I'm not sure whether it was going in but Cav Clark wasn't to know. He got down and made a good save there Ricky. Yeah it's a great save. As you say don't know if it was actually going in but that's the clearest chance of the game so far. Jesse making a of himself and he's won the ball back and he's now with Samuel Gill. Plays a lovely ball towards George on. Smith. George Smith advances Jesse. Jesse, what a lasso. No, it's Albie Keith, I should say. Albie Keith into the box. Can he cut it back? He does. Oh, oh, and it's towards George Smith. I still don't know who it was. It was Jesse, was it? It was Jesse. He was moving so fast I couldn't see who it was and he did so well to force the issue and get back and cut it back and it's going to be, is it a corner, the hashtag or a throw? Just a throw. But his pace is frightening. Absolutely if we can electric. get him one-on-one -on -one with some defenders, he's going to score bundles. Out towards Wallace, but it doesn't get anywhere near him. Peddy cleans it up, but does head it straight back towards Brentford, who head it back to us individually. A little bit of a lack of quality there. As Ross Good Lee wins a Ross. great shoulder barge towards George Smith, who and turns it gloriously. Can he find a shot. room? Look for a shot from 35 oh. yards. It was a bold effort to shoot from so far out, but that is a sign that maybe he has got the confidence returning we talked about earlier, Ricky. He knows it won't be long, and I think that might be our first shot on target, even though it was from 35 yards. Cav Clark. Plays it short towards Luke Wilson. Maybe we can try and keep the ball a bit more here instead of just lumping it forward. But Luke does play a long searching ball out towards Jesse. Or is that Jack who's got forward? I think it was Jack who'd got forward. Yeah, it was Jack. Luke comes in to win a challenge and maybe took one on the foot himself there. He could be hurt here. He, look, he looks like he's gone down. Luke Wilson's race is run. That is very disappointing. Kane Brogan will come on at right back. I would imagine with Peddy slipping into to centre back. And that's a blow, Ricky. That's a real blow. Right now, let's get in. Let's see this half out and let's see if Devs can do some uh, motivating of the boys. But there may be a chance for one more attempt from Hashtag United. As there we go. Good one Jesse too, Jesse lays it off. With look. Ross Glee to have oh, a strike. Great strike Towards George Smith, though. Can he find another chance for it? Cuts back inside. Can he get the room for a shot? He does. He lands oh, around it. Oh, my wow. goodness. That cannot have been far away. And you know what? It's going to be a corner, Ricky. He's taking a nick. Great strike from Ross. Unlucky to get a deflection. George has had great feet. Whip one. Me and you both thought he was in. Unfortunately, he went out for a corner. Now we're missing Luke from the corner as well going forward, but Albi looks to do well. Can he beat his man? Back to Samraj. Can he put the ball in? He does. It's a high deep ball forward towards Farai. Oh, it's, it's Peds. Peds. Peds back in. Ah, oh, so George lucky. Smith couldn't find Have the shot. Edge of the box. Sam Biles oh. with the shot. Still not here. Jesse with the shot. Play, no, it wasn't. It's towards George Smith. Oh, Cuts it back inside. Can he find the room? Back in. Oh, and Frentford finally find a way to dispossess us. Now they look to break themselves. They've got to switch on here as Daly plays out wide towards the right midfielder. Plays a long oh, right moving through towards Wallace. Could be an on Get goal. Around. Can he use his left foot? Kane Brogan called into Stay early up. action. He was turned left to right. Ball comes across. Great Go defending on. there from Farai. And my goodness, what a counter-attack that was from Frentford, Ricky. Non-stop, isn't it? It's four or five times now we've been in their box. 30 seconds later, they're having a shot. Right now, Cav does not seem to be in a huge hurry. To get this forward for one last attack for Hashtag United. There's a minute left in normal time in, the, in this first opening half. And it looks as though we might just be trying to see it out. And on the recent the recent few exchanges, you can't blame them. We're rattled. Yeah, definitely rattled. I think overall in this first half, as it's coming to a close, they've definitely had the better chances. We've had one or two half chances as well. But they've had two or three clear cut chances. Could be one more here. Sam Biles finds Albi Keith, who's now operating out on the right hand side. Looks for the overlap for Sam. He's bought a, a bit of room for Albi. Flicks it in. And oh, he's no! turning around. Get and it's in. It's in the back of the net. A great exchange from Albi Keith on the left hand side. He's put it in the area of uncertainty. And I think it's ended up as an own goal, Ricky. That's an own goal. As we're just saying, coming to the close, we've probably done well to be level still. We've gone up the other end and scored a scrappy, scrappy goal. Frentford will be absolutely gutted by that and you can understand why they've been on top for this second part of the first half had lots and lots of chances hashtag possibly with only one shot on goal thus far but the ball was put into the area and we've got the lucky break and now we just need to see this first half out Rick 
I'll tell you what, what's time to score as well. Looking at the clock, there's 15 seconds of normal time left. What a time that is to score. Look at me taken by the left back, who does throw it in towards his man. Possibly an arm used there. The referee's letting it play on. He lets control it. Out with the number seven, Got Sam Wade, time. who plays the ball wide out towards the right-hand side, a little bit unconvincingly. And Jack Martin will get it back for hashtag, who wins a throw on for hashtag. And that will surely do, ref. That will do. Blow the whistle. Let's get in at half-time. And we have. The whistle has gone. Half-time. Hashtag United. You've got to say somewhat fortuitous to go in the break at 1-0. Ricky, how do you summarise the first half? Yeah, I think you've summed it up quite well. I think we're quite fortunate to be 1-0 up. We haven't been at our best, that's for sure. And as we've said, they've had two or three best chances of the game. But I think there's a love of word. Maybe one or two ch uh, changes in the first 10 or 15 minutes. We up this, we start getting back to where we was in the first 15 minutes of the game. And I expect us to win the game. Well, I hope you're right. Let's get down and see what Devs has got to say to the lads. We're lacking information. And all over, what at 45 has shown us is that for too, too much of it, we kind of, we're, we're ball watching and we're watching to see what will happen. When we've played with confidence, I think two or three times where we've played the ball in the feet, he's made little movements off the back of people, we look really dangerous, really, really dangerous. And it's interesting because you spoke about it Saturday after the game when we spoke about having the confidence to give the ball to people. And we're getting free kicks and we get there and we get there and we see it and then we wait and we hesitate. And then we look to see if there's another option. It doesn't come. And then we go, all right, we'll go to that one. But it's now gone. And that's when we, uh, that then is a false to pass. See the pass, play the pass. Be confident. Be com because we've got, <coughs> we've got a forward four. I mean, add the two backing up to it, but if we've got forward four, it'll go and hurt anyone. But we're not, there's just not quite the belief in the, the past to get us the early, the early space. It's okay, but I think we can be better. And I think there's got to be, this is about building our confidence and they shouldn't have actually gone anywhere, to be honest. This is about actually believing in ourselves and going out there, defending proper, properly, tracking runs, communication, communication. Get it better, talk to each other, boil the life out of people. Tell them twice, tell them three times, tell them a hundred times. You can't tell someone enough about doing their job. Don't tell them once and think that's it, done. Tell them, tell them, tell them. And if they're doing it and they're doing it well, tell them they're doing it well and tell them well done. Come on. Come on. Okay, and we are back underway for the second half here, kicked off by Frentford. Hashtag United leading 1-0. Let's see if the boys can kick on a bit and build upon that good end to the first half. Really putting two strong challenges back to back and another big shout from Ross Glee. We love to see it, letting everyone know that's the sort of guy we need on the pitch right now. We need a leader. And here we go, Jesse on the right-hand side. Cuts inside, great feet from the new man. Plays it wide out right. Got him right the back Keith. stick. Can he find some room? Back towards Jesse. Can he get on the end of it? Yes, Jesse! Oh, oh wow. you cannot believe it. And the ball's almost stayed on as George Smith chased it down. But that was a beautiful bit of play. And it all came from the strong challenges, the strong leadership from Ross Gleed at the back. That's better from hashtag, Rick. Unbelievable from Ross Gleed there to win the ball back. And then Jesse does what Jesse does. He's run through two or three players, played a little one-two. And it's unfortunate not to be a goal. Would have been a hell of a goal. Really struggled to have either side getting any sort of meaningful possession. In either half, to be honest. There's been just a few breaks and counter-attacks. And Hashtag look to build another one Glee's here. In. George in. Smith. Can he link up with Ross Glee? There we go. It's for the ball through. It's got to be first time, Ross, surely. He does try the first time shot and it was under pressure. He's done well to get something on it. But it's not enough to challenge the key keeper, Fowler, who now looks to break quickly for Frentford. As they've looked to do all night. Over wide towards Jack Martin. Can we build a move here down the left-hand side? Inside to Ross Glee who clips it forward That's beautifully towards that. Sam Rudge. He takes it so nicely and nudges it through. George Smith on the left-hand side. Can he cut oh. it back? And you've got to say, it's a fantastic Great challenge, challenge that. from Apaya. That's going to be Jesse to take it, is it? On the right foot. Yes, it is. Jesse knocks Great it in. Knock. Great drill ball into oh. the danger area. Hits the back of, I think, Ross Gleed's head and it's out for a Frenford goal kick. Hell of a knock that. Sam Bowles cuts it's inside bleeding. as he likes to go. do. Can Ross Gleed, can we go one more? Is he going to have a shot here, Ross Cleed? He is. He struck oh, it very wow, well, but he was straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. Much better from hashtag Ricky. Unbelievable. We spoke earlier about Ross's shooting ability. Just shown another example of it there. Unfortunately, just straight down the keeper's throat. Conceding two goals in two minutes. 
at the end of the last game. 25 minutes is plenty of time to turn this one around. And that's what Frenford looked to do here as the ball gets into the box. Held up nicely by Sawyer. Tries to find a yard. But he's absolutely swarmed by hashtag players. And Jesse looks to find a break for us. A fantastic ball down ball the line that. for George Smith. He's a little Look bit isolated Sam. right now. Sam, go. Sam Biles has flooded into the box alongside Albie Keith. Jesse's back in there as well now. And there just wasn't enough help with George. He managed to get the ball into the box, but it's dispossessed well. And hashtag left a lot of men forward here. There's a break on for Frenford if they can find the first ball. And that's not necessarily a problem for hashtag United. Ross Gleed pumps it long up towards... Jack Martin, who does well. George Smith has found himself in on goal. Can he get a bit of room to get the shot away? He can on the right oh, foot, and he did so well. The ball was into him, and a nice little turn. Found a yard, Ricky, but not the shot he wanted. No, unfortunately, not executed too well on a shot, but he's done so well to get past the guy. It's going to come. We do go straight to pens if this is a draw. Reminder, straight to penalties if this is nil-nil. Hopefully not with our recent record. If this is not nil nil, if this is 1-1, no, definitely hopefully not with our recent record of penalties. We've probably got one of the worst penalty records of anyone in the Football League and the non-league right now. But here at Fremford trying to get that equaliser. Not what we need. Trying to cut inside. Farai's there though. Can he do enough? He can. The oh. ball squeezes across and Cav's done well thankfully there. Cav Clark is down to get it. It was very reminiscent of the, the winning goal that Fremford got against us on Saturday. The ball played across and just managed to knock it into the goal. Thankfully this time Cav Clark has it in two hands. We've got eight minutes left to wait, plus any stoppages that the ref adds on. As another big, deep shout from Ross Gleed is echoed out around the commentary box up here, which I enjoyed. Apaya looks to build a move for Frentford. Ross Gleed does enough to stand his man up, and Jack Martin will now look to clear it. Long it goes Richo's towards Neil in. Richmond with the fresh legs. Can he get one of those first touches out of the sky like a parachute? He sort of can, but he, he's defended well. You've got to give it to him. He's done Tanner's well. well. Richard's back, back on it. Richard, can he find the yard? The right foot struts across. He's played it across the goal, and it's in. Get in there. It's in. It's Albie Key from the back post. Richo did so well to get himself a yard and then just put it across the goal. And there was Albie Key for a key. Richo, 47 years of age. Still doing the dog work, still doing the hard graft for the team. And nice little ball across for Albie to tap in. 2-0, should be game over. And Jack's now got back involved from left back. Plays it back to Ross Gleed. Plays it high and deep and possibly off. But no, the ball stayed Not on. off, it stayed on. We're still in here. Frentford went to sleep. Just rolled it across the, the box. Spot. He's oh. trying to lay across. It looks like I got a bit of a block view there, Ricky. But who was he trying to play it back? Was that to uh, Albie Keith again? Again, that was Albie Keith. Unfortunately, the defender come across and kicked it out for a corner. There's almost no one in the penalty box other than George Smith here from hashtag side of things. Sam Bowles on it. Plays a lovely one too with Jesse Wallens. Have a shot. Jesse, can he have a go? Oh, Tries to lay in Sam. Can Sam get himself on the goal sheet here? Goes down. Cuts it across into the danger area. Edge of the box for Jesse. Cuts back. Left oh. foot. Oh, and that I Again, would have been a great goal. I thought we were going to see the net ripple. He tries to bring it down and even he's looking tired now. He's been absolutely busy all night. Another great performance from him. The ball comes in. There's a chance at the back post for Frenford. Can he get a chance away? He cuts back inside towards the number 11. Oh, he shoots. He, and, oh, he should have put it away, but it's gone high and wide and handsome from Wallace. And that's a let off for Hashtag. We did just check his watch. He had a good long look. The whistle stays down for now. And Ross Gleed will try and kick it out. And there goes the final whistle. The defeat in the Vars is avenged. And it's a clean sheet for Hashtag United. A mixed performance, started well, went worse, and end of the day, managed to get the job done with two goals, Ricky. How, what do you, how do you sum up the performance? Yeah, a bit better second half than we did started in the first. Very controlled. We knew we was going to win the game after the second goal went in, and we see it out really well. We had some good performances, a bit of energy across the park, and building on Saturday's performance. Absolutely, and we hope that the, uh, the hopefully it's not a recurrence of the injury to Luke Wilson, because uh, watching him hobble down the... Uh, the tunnel at half time it looked like he was icing that ankle hopefully he's okay Rick you know what's coming I've got to ask you if you're man of the match it's been a good few uh, a few good performances uh, Gleedy's been better today Albie's been very good and so has Sam but I'm going to give it to Albie Keith a goal and an assist um, I think that merits a man of the match I think absolutely you can't argue that goal and assist fantastic to see him back amongst the goals let's get down to the changing room and see what Devs has got to say You've got a bigger bucket. <laughs> He's about a size 15. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right, at least your toes won't get cold. Right, well done. Um, well deserved. Well deserved win. Um, and we deserved that second goal because for 
we controlled the game for long periods, particularly <coughs> second half, and probably deserved a couple more. Some real, real bright play, but, but we still show so much naivety at times in terms of our decision making. We've got to get better at it because the season's going to get it's going to get tougher. It was, it was huge improvement, huge improvement. What I was most impressed about in terms of the improvement was was our attitude and our endeavour. We looked like we wanted to go and win the game, and even when at times it was a bit slow coming and we felt maybe starved of chances that our possession deserved, or we weren't quite getting clear cut, we still kept at it. We still kept at it and looked a threat. <coughs> And I say, des des deserved win, and that's a good response. It's a good response to the weekend. Delighted with a clean sheet, delighted with a win. Well done, enjoy the rest of your week. Good, well done, boys. Albie, a good win tonight, 2 0, after obviously playing Frenford and losing in the first game this season. How did it feel? Yeah, much better. Um, good to get the win. You know, we had to bounce back after, yes, uh, not yesterday, Saturday. We was all disappointed uh, with the result. So it's good to get back winning and uh, especially on, this, on the score sheet. It's changing room vibe a lot better now. Yeah, it's a lot better. Everyone's happy. Um, we weren't at it Saturday. Uh, it's good to get back to our standards um, and that's important. So the vibe's there. We've got to push on now. It's got to be a successful season still. Yes, guys, that is a wrap. Stampy alongside me. And hashtag Shory, professional FIFA player, came to watch the game in real life. How was that? Sensational, mate, yeah. I think we played well. Good 2-0 win. Second goal as well was absolutely fantastic. Great work from Richo, good finish. And now, uh, yeah, good win. And we're off back to the HQ now to grind some FIFA 20 on the web app. Because <laughs> the game isn't out yet. So, uh, But I'm nerdy enough to do that, so I'll do that. So Love that. Stampy, where are we going next? We are back. We are back in business for the Essex Senior League. We're up against Ilford, away from home. So if you can get yourself down there, you know what to do. All information will be there on our socials. Do your best to come down. It's going to be a good game. That is well and truly a wrap now. I've been the Algerian version of LP. This has been Shuri and this has been Stamps. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button. Also hit that subscribe button as well, as well as that notification bell. And what do we not forget to do? Hashtag Shuri. Don't forget to hashtag it, boys. Come on. Hey! Back to the